I was going to go to college up in New York State, upstate New York, and then the last minute in September, I decided I don't want to go to upstate New York. I want to go to acting school. Where are you going to go? Like SUNY, All, State University, Albany. Yeah. So, and I had been there for the summer for orientation. Like, my bags were packed. We were leaving the next morning. It was September, and I, and I told my parents, you know, I don't want to go to college. I want to, huh. I want to study acting, Lee Strasberg's, which I thought was the actor's studio. I didn't know which was which. Yeah. I just yeah. knew I wanted to be there. I didn't even know where it was, but my parents were like, all right, listen, you want to be an actor, we get it, but you got to go to college. So a few weeks later, I went to the city. It was a I was 17. It was the first time I was really in the city on my own because I grew up a little outside the city. And I went down to NYU and you know, got the brochures and the applications thinking maybe I'll apply to NYU. So then I'm walking up from the village, and I didn't even know the village at the time, just wandering around. and I. Water 14th Street, and I see this street, Irving Place. I've never heard of it. And I walk up Irving Place, and I see this big flag. Yeah, Lee Strasberg. I'm like, okay. So I walk in, and that's how I started there. But um, Elaine, so I didn't go wind up going to college. But Elaine said to me, Elaine Aiken was a very good mentor. Um, she said, you don't have to go to college, but you have to educate yourself. Definitely about art, but about as much as you can. You have to learn about painting. You have to learn about music. You have to learn about literature. You have to read good books. You have to go to museums. She actually took three of us to the Met once to look at paintings and discuss them and learn about history. So, you know, and I took that very seriously because she wasn't like, you should go to college and have a backup. There was none of that. Right, stuff, right, right. You know? I studied with another guy named David Gideon, who I'm oh, sure yeah. you know. Yeah. And David said... Uh, David was tough. Man. David was very tough. I was with him <laughs> for two years. And... Someone asked David, you know, should I have something to fall back on? And David said, if you need something to fall back on, fall back on it now. <laughs> because, you know, that, which I understand that, uh, you know, it takes, it takes a real commitment and it takes a real belief in yourself. Yeah. I mean, kind of a delusional belief in yourself. I like yeah, to right, say. yeah. To think that well, you're Well, it's delusional until it's not, right? Until it's not. It's impossible until it happens. But you have to do that because it's it's hard, you know, and it's there's a lot of talented people and, and it's a hard business. But if you make that decision that that's what you want, then you'll do it. 